Hello students, I hope you have learned and understood the meanings of the words. So now we are starting with the back exercises. Coming to the first question that is comprehension check, what you have to do is just look at this question. In this question, you have to complete the sentences with the given options. Coming to the second question, in this question, what you have to do is, you just have to match the words in the list A with the words in the list B. As we have done all the words, so it would be easier for you. In the next question, each sentence has two blanks and a word has been given in the bracket. So what you have to do is, you have to fill these blanks with the appropriate form of the word. Let's look at the first example. He has blank to help me. He has promised to help me. Do you think he will remember his promise? So like this, you have to complete the exercise. Coming to the main question answers, first you have to prepare an introduction of the chapter in which you just have to summarize the whole chapter what you have read. So what points you are going to cover in this is, the first point is the name of the story. Second is, who is the writer? The third point is, what were the questions asked by the king? Fourth point, who helped him in getting his answers? And the last is, what value you have learned? So let's see the answer. The chapter Three questions is written by Leo Tolstoy. In this chapter, a king is fascinated by three deeply important questions. Namely, what is the right time to begin something? Which people should he listen to? What is the most important thing for him to do? In the process of finding these answers, he, can, he comes across a hermit who answers his questions. The chapter gives a beautiful message at the end and shows us a new way of life. A lesson plan will be provided to you. So the first question is, why was the king advised to go to magicians? So why he was advised? To get the, to get the answer for his first question. That what is the right time to do something? Let's read it. The king was told to go to magicians to get the answer to his first question. What is the right time to begin something? Since only magicians could look into the future, he was advised to do so. Question number two. In answer to the second question, whose advice did the people say would be important to the king? So what we have read? We have read four different answers. First is counselors. Second is priest, third doctors and fourth is soldiers. Let's read it. The second question was which people should he listen to? To answer this question, some said that the people most necessary to the king were his counsellors. Others said that the priests were the most important. A few others chose the doctors and yet others thought his soldiers to be the most important. Question number 3. What suggestions were made in answer to the third question? So, what were the suggestions made? Let's see. The third question was, what is the most important thing to do? In answer to the third question, some said that the most important thing was science. Others said fighting and yet others chose religious worship. Question number 4. Did the wise men win the reward? If not, why not? So, they didn't get any reward. Why? Because they came up with so much answers that the king was not satisfied. So, how are you are going to write this answer? No, the wise man did not win the reward. As he got different answers to his questions, the king was not satisfied and therefore he chose not to give the reward to anyone. Question number 5. How did the king and the hermit help the wounded man? When the king and the hermit saw a large wound on the man's stomach, the king washed and covered it with his handkerchief. He dressed the wound again to stop the bleeding. Then the king and the hermit 
carrying the man to a bed inside the hut. Question number 6 comprises two parts. The first part is who was the bearded man? The answer is the bearded man was an enemy of the king. The king had put the man's brother to death and had also seized his property. That is why he wanted to take revenge on the king. The second part is why did he ask for the king's forgiveness? The answer is he had come with the intention of killing the king. Ironically, he was saved by the king himself whose life he wanted to take. That is why he asked for the king's forgiveness. Question number 7. The king forgave the bearded man. What did he do to show his forgiveness? The answer is the king forgave the man. He showed his forgiveness by telling him that he would send his servants and his own doctor to look after him. He also promised to give back the man his property. Question number 8. What were the hermit's answers to the three questions? Write each answer separately. Which answer do you like the most and why? Let's come to the answer. In answer to the first question, the hermit said, There is only one time that is important and that time is now. The hermit answered the second question by saying that the most necessary person is the person you are with at a particular moment. The hermit's response to the third question was that the most important thing is to do good to the person one is you with. This is because all are sent into this world for that purpose alone. I like the first answer the most because it teaches us that present or now is the only time we have in our hands to do the task we want to do. It suggests us to value time. There is one more question in which you have to describe the king in your words. So what will you say about him? About his good quality. So let's discuss about his good qualities. He was a good ruler? Yes, he was. What he was doing? He was searching the answers for his questions. Okay, what else? He was kind-hearted? Yes, he was because he helped the hermit and the wounded man. Was he forgiving? Of course, he forgave his enemy. And also, he was down to earth. Let's put it together. The king wanted to be a good leader. He was seeking answers for the three questions which he thought would help him in his mission. The king was kind-hearted. When he found the hermit tired of digging the ground, he, offer, he offered him his help. He saved bearded man's life by dressing his wounds and looking after him. He also forgave the bearded man even after knowing his intentions. He was down to earth and very kind.